Hello guys, welcome back. In the last video, we have seen about what is the effect of partial pressure of carbon dioxide, and in, now this video we'll be seeing what is the effect of what is the effect of blood pH. Okay, so we know we know that we know that if there is a decrease in the pH. Okay, I already told you in Bohr's effect, if there is a decrease in the pH, what is going to happen when there is a decrease in the pH? The hemoglobin molecule is readily leaving oxygen. Correct. So when the hemoglobin molecule is readily leaving oxygen, tell me is the saturation going to increase or decrease? See, if it is readily releasing oxygen okay so this is at low pH okay this is at low blood pH at low blood pH okay low blood pH means acidity is high so low blood pH okay let us take it at around 7.2 pH low blood pH what is going to happen at low blood pH the curve is going to shift towards the right reason is when the blood pH is low oxygen is more readily released by the hemoglobin when oxygen is more ready, readily released by the hemoglobin when oxygen is more readily released by the hemoglobin obviously what is going to happen its saturation percentage saturation decreases why right? if oxygen normally is bound to four mole uh, sorry if hemoglobin is normally bound to four molecules of oxygen when it is readily giving away the oxygen molecules obviously its saturation is going to decrease when when all the four sides of hemoglobin are bound by four oxygen molecules we say that it is fully saturated when it is giving away the oxygen molecules the saturation is obviously going to decrease so when the saturation is decreasing what is going to happen the curve is going to shift towards the right okay when saturation is decreasing the curve is going to shift towards the right okay so when pH is high alkaline pH is there okay when there is alkaline pH more pH is there then I told you in the last video also the association of oxygen and hemoglobin will be more if the pH is alkaline okay so when association of hemoglobin and oxygen is more obviously the saturation increases now you see here at the same percentage oh, sorry at the same millimeters of mercury partial pressure of oxygen okay at low pH you see the uh, saturation it is 30 35 percent saturated correct but at the same 30 millimeters of mercury at at high pH you see the saturation it is 65 such it is uh, 65 percent saturated are you getting my point here yes so this curve shift to shifts towards the right when the pH is low or acidity is more or proton concentration is more more proton concentration more acidity less pH okay so this is about the pH. So so far two factors we have studied. The first factor that we have studied is when the carbon dioxide concentration is high, the curve is going to shift towards the right. Correct? The curve is going to shift towards the right. Similarly, similarly, when the uh, percentage of uh, uh, carbon dioxide is less in the blood, the curve is going to shift towards the which direction? Left left side. Okay. So I hope you got it. Thank you.